we're going to talk about a little trend that I've been noticing as of late in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And it is our sealed structure decks actually worth investing in. And this is a really interesting topic because this is something I've kind of found myself doing as of late. Every time structure decks come out, I'll pick up a couple of sealed boxes of them. There are a couple of exceptions to those rules. I'm kind of mad at myself. I didn't listen to myself. But let's have a little discussion about our sealed structure decks worth keeping around, shall we? So, I... I'm going to talk about some investments that I made in the past, and some that I fucked up on and uh, didn't go in on. And uh, one of those was the Sal Mangrate structure deck. So, logically, I looked at the Sal Mangrate structure deck, and at the point that I would have needed to get in orders, we did not know that Ash Blossom was getting reprinted. So my logic at that point was, all right, so Ash not confirmed in the structure deck. Konami would never reprint Ash Blossom in the structure deck. And all of a sudden, well, Ash Blossom gets the reprint. And those structure decks turn to literal gold. So that was kind of that. Um, I'd listened to myself up until that point on a couple of things. And this was called Win of the Century. So for those of you that don't know about these two horrible things right here in existence. This is the Dino Masher. I had to look at the name for a second to make sure that this was good. So, Dino Masher Structure Deck rolled on a rum, and I was like, you know what? We haven't really picked up anything. I started to kind of see like Megalo Masher videos. I was like, you know, fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna roll with this. We'll see where the value comes from these. Well, evidently, years later. Uh, I've held on to these, and I was like, huh, well, you know, I could open them now, and let's see here. Um, I get Pterodon, we don't give a shit about. Ultimate Conductor Trano, a couple bucks right now. Uh, let's see here. Oh, also, I didn't pay retail for these, so the one guy's like, oh, if I held on to these at $10 a piece, I'm just losing. Well, I mean, yes and no, but if you can get them cheaper, that's where you win. So, you've got Megalomasher X, you've got... Everything in here just blows fucking butthole except for Overaptor and the Twin Twister. Okay, so that's that's where we hold the discussion. Oh, and Lost World. So, your inherent value on these right now, the Twin Twisters, I think are like four to five bucks. You've got the Overaptors, which were pushing ten for a little while. All right, so you got fifteen dollars right there on this sealed structure deck. And then you've got the Ultimate Conductors, the Lost Worlds. Oh, and then if you sell every other card in here at a quarter, you win. All right, and that's how you turn a ten dollar MSRP into twenty bucks. So the general consensus here, though, is to the average Joe, are these worth picking up? Now, at times I will say yes. Now you get piles of shit like this that turn to gold later. All right, and. Uh, they did something really weird with this structure deck. So they had seven of these in the box. I think it was, what, three of these? Of course, the one that was a three of was bound to be more money, right? Like, that's how life works, right? The the shorter end of the stick gets the reward, right? Like, but your uh, your actual value in here is literally just the ancient gear cards. Because uh, I actually inherently think as a whole, as a structure deck, oh, Max C's also in here. So... You've already got people on the short end of the stick that were freaking out because they needed to buy these for Max C when these were legal. And then you've already got the other few things in here. There's really nothing good in the Spring deck, actually. It's just the ancient gear cards are just worth something. Like, that's the sad part. Like, at the time, you probably held singles from the structure deck. And you were like, huh, I'm just here for the Max C. You tossed everything else in the shutter. You're like, fuck it, bulk it. <laughs> I don't have to deal with this now. I'm just like, hmm, maybe, maybe keeping some of these sealed was a good idea. I, I do see, obviously, this is a clear winner over this. It's ironic that this was the winner, but this has more value in it for the Ancient Gear. I don't know, they're both worth money. That's all that really matters. Then we come to the new paradigm. 
Ah, yes. My friend. Fucking, we're gonna buy a bunch of these and sit on them because Lair Darkness is gonna be a good thing, said Robbie. And then I was like, huh, well, you know, Infernoid's kind of rolling around right now. Japan's playing it. I was like, you know what? We're gonna go ham on these. Now, granted, for having these sitting around, I don't feel bad. Absolutely not. I, I think in terms of potential futuristic value that this one is going to gain value, especially with a lot of the trends I'm kind of noticing with the structure decks, there's very little things that look like they're getting reprinted now outside of the structure decks. Um, it definitely feels like the, the value that is presented in these boxes is a little bit more eternal, if that makes sense, because also, fun fact about sealed product, you guys might not know. Uh, sealed product can often go for more than the actual single value that's presented within the th box. I know, right? It's really weird. People really like having sealed things around. And you've got the chunk of Yugi tubers that enjoy opening sealed product. But anyway, back to structure deck talk here. So this one is not an immediate winner yet. Uh, I expect maybe in a year or so. Ugh, almost lost my box there. Possibly in a year or so, we'll probably see a little bit more value in this. I mean, you had reprints in here like Tour Guide, Lair of Darkness, Allure of Darkness got its 35th three print in here, um, Crush Card, Deck Dev, Eradicator, you know, all the virus cards. Things like that, but like, there wasn't a clear gotcha, we, we gotta go for this type product. It was literally, you're buying these because you need the Lair of Darkness. and. Something else we literally noticed about these, there was always a chase card in these. You know, this one, you had fucking Twin Twister. Over here, you got fucking Maxi. Salaman Great Structure Deck, you got Ash Blossom. You see a pattern here? Uh, upcoming Structure Deck, you actually, what was it? Uh, you had Ye old. Ah, oh, man. Droll and Lockbird. And then you've got the Boral Savage Structure. Oh. Let's talk about the, the expected value out of the Boral deck, shall we? So you've got four new cards rolling around. I saw really good reprints coming out of the organization. Uh, Imperial Order being in there was pretty interesting for the OCG side of things. I don't actually... Uh, I, I Do we have a common Imperial Order up to this point? I know Boral Load's getting the reprint in there. Uh, Boral Load Savage I don't think is getting the reprint. Twin Twisters is getting the reprint again in that structure deck. Talk about fucking good value, honestly. Like, if you want a, if you want a good deck to go in, I, looking at everything that the OCG is getting in the deck, I you might want to peek it. Like, just give it some serious consideration. Be like, hmm, all of these reprints available in one house per order. Red Reboot getting the reprint. I mean, Mirror Force, Mirror Force Launcher, but I mean, those are kind of expected, but... Red Reboot overall is a card that needs a reprint at the fucking moment, because that thing's already pushing like 3 to $4 as a mandatory staple inside decks. I mean, it's a card that can shut off traps for a whole single turn. Yeah, you've got Boral Load peaking in there as well, plus the four new good cards. Uh, in terms of $10 value, um, if you can get them cheaper, always like using that. If you, if you can get them at the, the good price, then yeah, you fucking you go in. You buy as many of them as you can, and bada bing bada boom even at ten dollars i think the value is going to be really fucking solid actually um just out of that deck in general <laughs> red reboot is our uh, little staple actually i think it's the boral out anytime that a player can spend ten dollars and pick up a good amount of cards you know that's why everybody has salad at the moment not only did you get a really good fucking theme under one roof you also got really really strange things that were called ash blossoms it's almost like it was a format staple or something at the point in time, but players were just like, huh, what do I do with this? This is terrible. <sighs> I love this community so much. So, basically, keeping a couple sealed structure decks laying around for the future. If you guys have looked at past structure decks, the ones under upper deck, holy shit, their secondary value is disgusting. Holy fuck. Alright, like, some of those structure decks going for $40, $50. Granted, you've had to hold them for years, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, they're going up. 
like especially the first ed zombie ones like those OG structure decks are disgusting in value but people I guess don't understand that there's a sealed market in this game it might not be you know extravagant but it does very much exist and it's an interesting one at that so guys please then comment down below tell me what you guys think I'd like to hear your guys opinions concerns why does Robbie have sealed structure decks but that's a discussion for another day I guess I'm out peace the ride never well truly ends thank you patrons without you guys I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos I might be a triple shuffle and all over again guys please also check out Vancol 40 for some awesome Vanguard content some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well thanks for watching